What's up everybody, it's Bob from Garage Dwellers Woodworking and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about dust collection for your garage shop. And in particular, I want to talk to you about cyclone separators. Now, in my opinion, dust collection is one of the most overlooked things for the garage and small wood shop. So I want to talk a little bit about this over the next couple videos, different aspects of dust collection, and today we're going to talk about cyclone separators. Now, I've had a number of different cyclone products over the course of my time woodworking. Like most people, I started out with a basic shop vac, and you learn pretty quickly that number one, if you don't have something that's pre-separating the big chunks, those filters get clogged pretty easily. And it also gets pretty expensive when you talk about bags. If you upgrade to something like a Festool dust extractor, the bags become even more expensive. And so a lot of people jump to a cyclone separator, which is a great idea. The whole idea behind a separator is that it's gonna separate the larger chips from the smaller dust. You'll use bags less and you'll get an efficient use of your dust extractor. Now currently I have two different dust separators in my shop. I have the Home Depot dust topper, which is basically a little orange cyclone sort of thing on top of the Home Depot $5 bucket. And then I have the Festool Cyclone. So I have everything from a very cheap one to a very expensive one. And to be honest with you, the performance for both of them has been okay. I have the dust topper attached to my miter saw. I have the Festool Cyclone attached to all of my equipment here at my Outfeed assembly bench. Now I built this bench even based around the idea that I would use that Festool Cyclone, but I haven't been super impressed with its performance. Now, the good folks at Oneida reached out and asked if I would be willing to take a look at a couple of their products, and that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna do a first unboxing and some initial impressions of two different products here. Now, as I mentioned, Oneida did offer to send these to me for testing, so I did not pay for these two items. However, I do have a lot of money tied up in the Festool Cyclone itself, much less adding the dust topper on top of that, and our agreement was that I would do an honest review, take a look at the product, see what I thought, and give them some ominous feedback, and I wanna share that with you guys. So the first one we're gonna take a look at here is the Dust Deputy 2.5 Deluxe. This is the classic Dust Deputy Cyclone, and what a lot of brands have sort of adopted, you'll see a lot of these different types of Cyclones out there. So we're gonna take this apart, we're gonna take a look at it, put it together, do some initial first tests, and I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, so starting out with the Dust Deputy Deluxe 2.5. All right, so very neatly organized everything here. I've got a clear top. We have got, looks like a piece of connection hose here. We have got the Cyclone itself. These appear to be the wheels for the base of the bucket. And then this is all of our hardware and our instructions. So, the plan for this is that this is gonna go at my miter station. And again, that's currently where I have the dust topper. That's where this is gonna be sort of the most similar in terms of how these things will look and work. Again, comparing this size bucket to that size bucket and seeing how this works compared to the dust topper. So everything looks like it's packaged really neatly. Everything makes sense. Um, anybody who has ever put something like this together, uh, this is gonna be pretty easy and straightforward. I'm probably gonna read the instructions. Maybe, we'll see. Let's toss this together. I'm not gonna to make you watch that. We're all assembled. So, could not have been easier. This took me about 10 minutes to put together. Um, a couple things just to note, just right off the bat, comes with the gasket. One of the nice things about this system versus the first, I had one of the original dust deputies and I put that onto, it was one of the Home Depot or a Lowe's bucket, and you had to drill out the holes and do all that kind of stuff. This is nice, everything comes pre-prepared, ready to go. The other thing, and it seems like a minor thing, but everything is clear. So I have a clear bucket, clear top, the dust deputy, the cyclone itself is clear, and that's really nice because with the dust topper I have currently, if I wanna know how much is in there, I have to lift the lid, open and close that every time. So it's nice to have something where you can just get a good visual look and say whether my bucket is full or not. All right, so here we have our two different cyclones here. We've got the dust topper and then obviously the dust deputy 2.5. 
this is my current setup. Now I've got the top here from a dust topper and as you can see, what they've done is sort of flattened out the idea of a cyclone. So again, everything inlet from your vac, the suction comes from here. Cyclone, here's the hose out to your tool. So the idea is that you're gonna suck things in. It's got this kind of conical structure in there. The thing that I've always wondered about this and about things that are like this is whether or not this design reduces your suction. Uh, just one of the things that I've noticed subjectively, having had a dust deputy previously, having tried this now, and honestly, the Festival Cyclone has kind of a similar design. I feel like there's reduced flow. So I'm not an air expert by any means, but this definitely seems to be design-wise something that may not work the best. So obviously, this is a little bit bigger. Um, it's nice because I do have wheels that I can roll this around on, move it around the shop. One of the things that they do mention and that can be a problem for these cyclones is they can get very tippy. So they actually include some stuff so that you can tether this to your shop vac. People make all sorts of carts for these sorts of things and they actually have a couple recommendations in the instructions as to carts that you can make. All right, so first little quick test we're gonna do. The miter station is filthy. Um, I have this Makita, uh, I forget the name of it exactly, but it's a 10 inch compound sliding miter saw. The dust collection on this is known to be one of the better ones, but like most miter saws, the dust collection stinks. Um, so we're gonna check this out. We're gonna clean up a little bit with this. Now, I also have this air meter. So I'm gonna use this. I'm not doing any kind of calculations with it or anything yet. The first thing that we're gonna do is just take a quick measurement. I'm gonna turn this on, get some air readings from it, clean up a little bit. We'll do the same thing with the dust deputy, and then we can kind of compare. If you're wondering, the vacuum setup is a CT15. Now, some of you who have sharp eyes may notice it has a hose garage on the top of it. That was added after the fact, so it is actually a CT15 and not one of the minis or the midis again, connected to the dust stopper. And then this is a 37 millimeter uh, Festool hose. So first, let's see what kind of suction we're getting on this thing when we hook it up to this air velocity meter, and then we'll see how it cleans up. All right, so now the more important test, let's actually make a cut with the dust topper and we'll see how that does. All right, that's the dust topper. So now let's move the Dust Deputy 2.5 into place. Do all the same tests again, same connections, with the exception being there's a different hose here to attach from the vac to the dust topper itself. So we're gonna attach the dust topper to my CT15. We'll get an airspeed measurement. We'll do some cleanup, then we'll make a couple cuts. So right off the bat, um, almost double the airspeed that I was getting with the dust topper. So super cool. Let's do some cleanup. Let's do some cuts. so that was the dust deputy 2.5 next up let's check out the dust deputy ultimate 
So this is a dust deputy, but it's attached to a sustainer type collection device. So if you do have Festool products, you can attach it, for instance, to the Festool dust extractors. Um, if you have pullout drawers like I do, in theory, you could put it in one of those because it's the same size as a sustainer. All right, now this one I'm admittedly very excited about. The Festool Cyclone was something that I bought mainly because I thought it would work with the design of my workbench. I had heard some good things. I realized that there were mixed feelings on it. Uh, but, you know, I figured give it a try, see how it goes. If you haven't seen the build video for this MFT Outfeed assembly bench, we'll go ahead and put a link to that here. Um, but again, I really kind of designed the bench with that as being one of the components in mind. But again, in the back end of it, I haven't been super happy with it. So again, just like the other one, packaged very neatly. Nice sturdy plastic container here, plastic top. I'm gonna put this thing together. I'm not gonna make you watch it. Let's see how it looks. All right guys, so here it is, the Dust Deputy Ultimate Cyclone Kit, uh, sustainer, etc. So set up just like with the Dust Deputy 2.5, super easy. So very cool design. This can be attached to your hose garage on your CT Vax. Um, and again, design kind of specifically for the Festool setup. So let's check this out in my setup. All right, so let's take you on a little tour through my current setup here at the workbench. So the vacuum is on the other side there facing the garage door. I've got it tucked into the bench and then I have a hose that runs through the bench, comes out and down here and that's that hose. Now that input goes into the Cyclone, which is actually attached there into one of their Sys AZ drawers. And then the output from that comes up in this short hose, which connects to a 37 millimeter hose and goes over to the workpiece. So obviously I recognize I've got a lot of hose here that probably leads to some of the drop in suction. But again, we're gonna do as direct a quick and dirty AB test as we possibly can here. So what I'm gonna do is try to hook this and this up to that, that Dust Deputy Ultimate Sustainer Ultimate. All right, let's check it out. All right, same deal. Let's go ahead and hook this up to our speedometer. I'm sure that I'm saying this name wrong and someone will correct me for it. All right. Now this may seem like kind of a silly test, but this is something that I was able to do when I was connecting my sanders to my dust hoses originally, is to simply use the sander itself as a vacuum. I've got some dust here, and I'm gonna to try to pick that up. Again, this is with my current setup with the Festool Cyclone. All right, next step, let's disconnect the Festool Cyclone, switch over to the ultimate dust deputy, and we'll see how that does. I don't know if the camera caught that, but as I moved this, a ton of dust just dumped out of here. All right, so once again, let's check the speedometer. This is now the Oneida ultimate dust deputy. All right, so definitely a basic improvement there. Let's check out the using my sander as a vacuum test. All right, now one last quick test. One of the things that I've always noticed is when I use a sander with the current setup at the Festool Cyclone, I get more dust on the table than I would normally expect and more dust than I used to get when I had these Festool sanders hooked directly up to my vac. 
So let's do a quick sand on here, and this will just be kind of a subjective thing, admittedly, but let's check this out and see how the dust collection does here. Alright, so a very little bit came out on the sides, um, but I can tell you I just did some similar sanding on a similar size piece yesterday and uh, for a shorter period and had more dust than is currently collected on the table. Now I would normally expect a little bit of dust to come out in this sort of application because again the sander itself is wider than the workpiece, right? So if the entire sander was covered up by the workspace, I would get probably better dust collection, but I've obviously got some overhang here, so I'm gonna lose some dust, but I'm noticing a lot less than what I'm used to with the Festool Cyclone. All right, so first impressions and then a couple things to admit. Um, both of them really well packaged, really well thought out, designed well, easy to put together, quick to put together. I noticed an immediate speed difference in terms of airspeed on the suction that I'm getting from both now. How that translates into CFM, we'll do some calculations for that in a future video and I am going to do a future video. This is just a first impressions. I wanna spend a couple months with these. I've spent at least a year, if not more, with both of these other products that I have and I wanna spend a few months using these to get you some more feedback, do some more rigorous testing, and kind of see over time how things compare. What I can tell you is I notice an immediate difference right away. Having lived with the suction that I've had here for now at least a year, I notice an immediate difference in suction quality. So look forward for that for a future video. We'll do some more in-depth testing on these. Now I'm interested to hear what you guys in the Garage Dwellers Woodworking community are using. Do you have an Oneida separator? Do you have the Festool, a dust topper, something else cool that I haven't even heard about? If so, let me know. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about either these separators or just dust collection in general. Let's hear your thoughts. If you like this video, if you got something out of it, then hopefully I earned your subscription. Like the video, comments down below. So that's gonna do it for us. Thanks for watching and until next time, get out there and enjoy your garage.